Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing our September mid-month plays. This will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. As always, just keep an open mind, take what resonates as it resonates with you, and be sure to watch all your signs. Uh, Cross-watch, you can cross-watch. Um, the special will be running until the end of September and then it's done. Um, and what else? Yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe. And thank you all for your wonderful support. So, I'm using the Tarot of the Dream Enchantress for the main spread. And I'm clarifying with the Secret Tarot, the mini version. Because I think they go well together. Okay. So, what's going on for Taurus for the rest of September? What's going on for Taurus for the rest of September? 2021. Taurus for the rest of September 2021. There we go. <clears throat> Nine of Cups. That's a good card. Two of Pentacles. The Moon. The Two of Swords in the Foundation. The Four of Cups in the Past. Death card in the Near Future. Two of Wands in High Yourself. Queen of Wands in Your Environment. Eight of Cups in Hopes and Fears, and Judgment in the Outcome. You're in two minds about something, Taurus. It may be <clears throat> regarding uh, a second chance, come back around, reconciliation. For those of you, you're kind of stuck between two choices, stuck between two options. It looks like you're kind of more partial to one of them. Um, the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. So with the Ace of Swords, this says it is a victory energy. It talks about clarity. It talks about truth, receiving truth, speaking truth. <clears throat> it can also be a new, definitely some sort of a new beginning that may or may not involve a contract. This card keeps... Ace of Pentacles, yeah. It's just peeking at me, and I'm like, what? Okay, never mind. Um, some sort of a new offer on the table. The issue is you can't do both. If it's something that you've been trying to do both, or you've been doing both, one of them has to go, because you have the death card here, one of them has to be fully stopped and then you can fully invest in the other one okay because i feel like whatever that is whatever this is that you've been dealing with it's reached that point where it needs to be either or you need, a choice needs to be made okay in order to fully invest into something to see the full potential of it right because when we're doing two things at the same time and we're kind of splitting our focus and splitting our um, attention and our efforts, then we can only get so much out of each of that situation. We're never going to have the full potential of one or the other until we fully invest in one or the other. So the nine of cups in your current situation, there's some sort of a, a wish coming true or it feels like it, right? There's a yes answer here if you're looking for one or hoping for one. Um, you're getting something that you want, okay? And it could be to do with something from the past that has taken a long time to get to you. It's been a long time coming. It might have been an on again, off again situation. It might have been some sort of like a start stop energy to it, but that's where your heart was, right? So no matter what else you have been doing, um, your heart kind of was still stuck on this. And it looks like whether it's a comeback around or it's actually getting the news, getting the opportunity or whatever this is, it looks like that is actually happening. Your challenge then becomes the two of pentacles. Okay, can I do both? Because I feel like as you were waiting or trying to make peace with the fact that the past wasn't happening, whatever opportunity it was, something else came along, you took it, started working on that, and now this from the past is coming around. Now you're like, okay, I have two things that I have to deal with. Can I do both? Can I keep both? Can I split my focus between both? Okay, whether it's jobs, people, situations in your life, whatever it is. 
Because why? Because you don't want to make a choice with the two swords in the foundation. You don't want to make a choice. You don't want to cut one out or the other. Um, because I feel like you like both. And um, there's also a fear of making the wrong decision because you have confusion crowning you with the moon card. So you're either feeling like, or you're saying to someone, I need more time to figure it out. I need more time to decide what's best for me. I need more time to decide between these two situations or these two offers or opportunities. But you're very, very confused. And I feel like it's because it's a head or a heart decision for you. One has your heart, the other it has your head, right? So one has your heart in terms of there's some sort of attachment to that, some sort of an emotional attachment to that. You thought it would make you very, very happy at one point. In the other situation with the pentacles energy and the ace of swords, this makes sense, this is rational, this is logical, this is productive, this is practical, this is safe. You know what I mean? In the near future, we have the death card. Now with the death card, this pretty much says, if you don't make a decision, one will be made for you. Because the death card talks about an ending that is happening. Whether you're initiating it, or you're allowing one to happen or you're just you're gonna have to deal with the fact that one is ending right it's not much of a choice with major arcanas but there's some sort of a big ending coming up in your near future how you see yourself you see yourself as the two of wands okay what now what can i do with this what can i do with that um you have another two so it can be about partnerships decisions about partnerships here in your environment, we have the Queen of Wands. So Aries, the Osage energy. But this is someone in your environment. You may be aware of this person. You may not. Um, this is, if it's a person or if it's a situation, it's something that is very, very attractive to you. Um, there's passion. There's inspiration around it. It's something new as well. In your hopes and fears, we have the Eight of Cups. I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to choose the past situation because the fear is with the Eight of Cups, what if it goes away again? Okay. And also the fear is, am I making the right choice in walking away from whatever opportunity you're walking away from? In the outcome, we have the Judgment card. Now, the Judgment card can talk about reconciliation. It can talk about giving something another chance. It can also talk about receiving full clarity, okay, the judgment with the Ace of Swords, um, like you made the right choice, or yes, this is the correct path for you. Um, there's something along those lines there. It's also news, invitation. It's also um, something that has been a long time coming, something that you've always wanted to hear, or you've wanted to hear that for a very long time, right, with the Four of Cups in the past. Um, and now it looks like, okay, finally, it's what I wanted it to be. It's what I was hoping it could be. You're finally getting that message, getting that news, getting that validation. Okay, so let's clarify some bits. Angels and guys, please help clarify the energies of these cards for Taurus for the rest of... September. What's this Nine of Cups in the current situation for Taurus? The Nine of Cups in the current situation. The Knight of Swords. There's some sort of a, it feels like a win. I don't know if it's a legal win. I don't know if it's, but it feels like victory because it feels like, oh my god, I've had to go, go through so much for this. I've been through so much for this. And finally, here it is, right? It feels like someone coming back from war successful, right? Victorious. The Two of Pentacles as the challenge, the Empress. Yeah, you're manifesting. It's it's like everything's manifesting for you all at the same time because uh, you've attracted it. You've manifested it with the Empress. You've earned it. You deserve it. And then it's up to you to decide. But it's almost like with the Empress, It's like now when you make your choices, you have to keep the bigger picture in mind. You have to look at things, what result did I get versus what I put into it? Was that worth it? Was it not? 
You know what I mean? It's a different level of choices that you're making now. I feel like the choices that you're making now are, are going to impact your life for a long time. And I feel like I told you that before. Um, and so, and you're aware of that. So now you're trying to make sure you're looking at things from all angles. So let's see, four of cups in the past. What was that? Queen of cups. So you might have been stuck on a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, with Vesta, Sun, the Moon, the Rising, but that's where your heart was, okay? I mean, bottom line, that's what that is. The two swords in the foundation, we get two, Ace of Pentacles and the Strength card. You're trying to make a smart choice, right? With the Strength card, you're trying to temper yourself um, trying to make sure you don't act impulsively, you don't make impulsive decisions, but also with the two of swords there, you're like, I don't want, the, the strength card is holding back, I don't want to have to make this decision, because with the ace of pentacles, they both look good to me, right, I see value in both these situations, and I feel like for some of you, with the empress is the challenge, you may have come to the conclusion while you were waiting for this to come through or having to make your peace with the fact that it's not happening. And so you took something else. You took on another opportunity. And you've kind of come to the conclusion that actually this was a lot better for me to begin with. And so now you're having to rethink that. You're, it's like you're being tested. Do you really think this was your current situation was better for you? Then make your choices accordingly. But it's like you're, you're being asked to reassess and reaffirm and with the two of swords you're like well i'm not sure now anymore because i didn't think i was going to get this situation so there's a lot of confusion here taurus the moon card crowning you yeah the five of wands there's a lot of confusion there's a lot of inner conflict should i should nice scenarios feeling pressure to make a decision maybe you're talking to a lot of different people and everyone's giving you a different piece of advice and you're like well that's not gonna help me because I was hoping for someone to narrow down my choices not now I have more you know what I mean but also with the two swords in the moon card there that's pretty much telling you you already know the answer to this and it's down to you it's gonna have to be your decision it's gonna have to be you coming to that conclusion nothing external to you is really going to give you clarity you already know the death card in the near future let's see what this is What's coming to an end? Judgment. The Knight of Wands. I'll hold them up again. And the Ace of Swords. Hmm. So what is coming to an end? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this is where a lot of you are making the decision to go back to the past. Right? Because there's, I mean, there's a lot of passion there. You're still drawn to it. You're still attracted to it. Still draws you in, pulls you in. And with the Ace of Swords, something is being cut out. Um, this could also be, you know, the clarity. Because you have the Judgment again. Where, with the Judgment card, it can also be kind of listen to your own advice. Like, listen to your own wisdom. You already have the answer. You've already heard it. You've already received it. It's about doing something with it, right? And I feel like for a lot of you, you're choosing to go back to a situation because it still attracts you. You're still drawn to it. There's unfinished business for you there. And you're cutting out whatever else was in the mix. What is the two of wands and how you see yourself? The ten of wands. Yeah, I mean, it's a very difficult um, decision for you it, it, it there's a burden there definitely um but also this is choosing the option where there's all this history with the ten of wands i feel like it's something that it took you a very long time to let it go or it took you a very long time to release it once it ended or it took you a very long time to detach from it and that's what you're going back to. The Queen of Wands in your environment. Two Swords. This is your other 
choice, your other option, what you have to choose between. It's Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. So uh, water versus fire sign energy. Um, but also something where you're familiar with it. It has your heart versus wand energy, which is new. It's different. It's fiery. It's exciting. And I feel like even though you make your mind up to say, yeah, okay, I'm going to go back to the past because I have unfinished business there. You're not really, <laughs> I feel like something happens where you're not the one making the decision. That's why you got the death card. It's almost like if someone gives you an ultimatum and they say, if you don't go back, get back to me by tomorrow and you say that you choose me, that's it, I'm done. And you're like, well, you're not getting back to them. You're not going to try to have more conversation about it. You're maybe trying to use that as an excuse. You know what I mean? Like, well, if that's how you're going to be, then fine, go ahead. Something along those lines, right? Or you see the other option kind of slipping away and you're like, you know what? I'm just not going to do anything about it. Um, and then you're left with the past one and you're like, okay, cool. Because you have the two of swords again. So that's a decision you don't want to make. That's a decision you're not making. Because it's too complicated. It's too much. It's overwhelming. And it looks like this other situation isn't really going the way. Why? Because you're not the one cutting it out. You're not the one making that decision. So it'll always be kind of, it'll stick around for a while. The Eight of Cups in your hopes and fears, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you hope to be able to pick up where you left off with the old situation and carry it, uh, see it through, right? Reach the completion of it, the happily ever after when it comes to that situation. And again, the fear is, what if I make this choice and then it goes away again? The Judgment card in the Outcome. So we have the Four of Swords. The Page of Cups and the Tower. Interesting. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Here's what's going on. As you're, so you're choosing the past, right? And as you're working on it, talking about it, trying to recover, trying to heal and decide how you're going to move forward, the Tower happens. It, I feel like it goes away again or it falls apart one way or another and that's why this new energy that you've been dealing with or working towards hasn't left you're being given a chance here Taurus to go back to the past get your lesson and then be able to come back to the situation that you were working with. Okay, so it's because you know when when it's either or and you choose one and the other a situation kind of disappears or dies out or whatever. So you make your choice and if it doesn't go well, you're then left having to start over from scratch. I feel like you're being protected from that. You're being given, it's a rare gift. You're being given the, cho the choice, the opportunity, to go to get something that you thought you wanted learn that it actually what you had currently was better than that it makes you happier than that it's more balanced and fair to you than that then be able to drop that and go back to this new situation okay so it's almost like you're getting your cake and you're eating it too which is a rare, I feel like that never happens. But the good news is, with that tower there, it finally crumbles away that perception that you had of this situation from the past, that it was, oh my God, that was the end all for me. That was the biggest thing ever. That was the, I could have, I don't know, I don't know what that, love of my life. That was the best job ever. That was my dream career. That was my dream place to live you've told yourself this right there's that perception that that is my wish come true and you're being given a, cho a a chance right where you're being given what you asked for 
even though it took a while and took a lot of bunch of crap to get there, right? Because the Four of Cups is not a happy energy, let's be honest. You get your hopes up and they get crushed, and then you kind of have to pull yourself together, and then you get your hopes up again, and then they get crushed again, right? Oftentimes by the same person or the same situation. And you're being given what you thought made you happy, what you thought was your wish fulfilled. In order to change your perception, that's what the judgment card is, to see the truth about it with the tower there and the ace of swords popping up twice. To see the truth of it to where you can finally let it go but properly let it go not like okay I have to I'm letting this go because I kind of have to it's not really my choice right because you've been avoiding having to make a choice about this and you're doing it again and it's proper letting it go it's like oh I see I see things so clearly I don't feel attached to that anymore I don't want that anymore I understand that it made me happy at some point. I understand why it had to happen that way. I understand why I got stuck on it or attached on it. I understand. It makes sense now. And I'm more present, aware, and in charge when I'm making the decisions in my own life right now. And I do feel like... It's almost like a... <laughs> okay, thanks. Never mind. I'm gonna go back to what I was doing because it's actually so much better for me, right? Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, the Empress. It it fulfilled you, right? So that's pretty awesome. We don't always get that chance, Taurus. It's either choose one and then deal with the consequences of that choice, seeing it through. Um, so let me know how this is playing out for you guys, but yeah it's pretty good it's pretty good and remember i i got that feeling that as you were dealing with this new opportunity that you thought was you settling for something because you couldn't have what you really wanted as you were working with it or dealing with it you actually came to the conclusion you came to the realization that you know what actually i think this is this is better for me do you know but you still had that emotional attachment to that other situation so you couldn't fully invest in this you're you had one foot in the door and one foot out right because what if the past comes back i want to be available that kind of thing and all of this is to show you yes you are correct this is actually a lot better for you this is actually a lot healthier for you you make more money it's more prosperous it's it's better for your love life right it fulfills you on a different level it's just healthier right is what i'm getting and switching the focus from, well, I kind of have to tell myself that this is good for me because I can't really have what I want, right? You're going from that to, no, 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 actually, this is, is for me. That is not, that doesn't fulfill me in the same way as this does. And you're releasing yourself from a, an attachment. It's amazing. It's amazing. And listen, it's Mercury retrograde at the end of the month i think we're in shadow period now so this kind of stuff that's what it's for that's what it does right mercury retrograde it reveals it shows us lessons it put, puts us back in a situation to get the lesson from it that maybe we didn't get before right except this time you have the opportunity so like i say go in get what you want go in get your lesson say no thank you wholeheartedly right no thank you this is better for me i'm going back to, to what i was doing because that is my amazing and then fully investing in that it's awesome okay so i'll leave it there let me know what you think let me know how this makes sense to you if it does make the most of the month and i'll see you in the next one bye for now